What's good guys? So in this video, we're going to be going over variadic functions. Um, so variadic function is a function with these three dots, oops, three dots. Um, and this means that you can take in any amount of arguments that you want. Okay. So this means if we want one, we want to pass in one argument when we call this function, we can do that. If we want to pass in 10, we can do that as well. It's, it's uh, in any amount of arguments that you want to be passed in. And so why would we want to do this is because sometimes the amount of, uh, the amount of arguments we want to pass in it could be two, it could be 10, just for certain uh, situations. A good example with this is um, the way row act works. Um, and how you're always creating uh, elements and having a ton of elements within the element you just created and stuff like that. And so, variadic functions would be part of the part of the way that you'd be able to um, uh, accomplish those those results. So, what we've done here is we've put in our elements or our arguments. We put in our arguments. Um, and inside of a table, okay, because they don't they come separate So we want them to be inside of a table. So then we can go in and uh, actually no, we did not do that This is going to be a blank table. I'm sorry. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put these inside of a Blank table and then why we're doing that is because we want to apply a particular function to um, all of the arguments that we have, okay? So in this case, for this little function, it's gonna be elements. Um, and so now we can just do whatever we want to with each uh, element in elements, which is our arguments in the table that we've stored. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna say local element instance equals instance.new elements. And then we're just gonna do table.insert new elements and then element instance. So we're gonna call this, first we're gonna say local our elements equals create elements and we're gonna do a screen GUI, a text label and a image button. That's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna just print out our elements so you can see that we've actually created these, these elements. All right, so print out our elements. And then as you can see, we have a screen GUI, a text label, an image button. If we were to go in and, and say, um, our print, if print our elements one uh, dot reset on spawn, it will print um, the default property for reset on spawn. So these are actual the L, the uh, instances that we've created. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much um, ver variadic functions at a very you know basic example. Now you can do some really uh, complicated things. Obviously, like the the ROAC framework is is complicated. Um, and, and they use these. Uh, so I might make another video on this, diving uh, deeper and doing more complicated things with it. But this is just a quick example so you can kind of understand it. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one, though. Peace.